Nick Holbert had confessed to murdering private first class Kelly Bordeaux. So I just snapped and zoned out and hit her. And he'd led private investigator David Marshburn and his cadaver dog to a shallow grave where Holbert had buried her body. So we dig down, we find a little piece of the jacket. So we're digging again and we find her, find the leg bone. And we dig again. There's the whole jacket. We take the jacket and pull the whole jacket back, and there she is, described with the bag on her head, the whole nine yards. I said a little prayer. I said, baby girl, you going home? You going home, baby girl? And she gets back, and um, I'm starting to tear up now. Holbert would be arrested and subsequently pled guilty to first-degree murder. But P.I. Marshburn had mixed emotions about finally solving the mystery of what happened to Kelly. It was about like meeting, meeting somebody that you hadn't seen for a long time. And getting to bring her home. The family has closure. It's extremely unfair. She was a great person. But finally learning what happened to Kelly is little comfort to those who still mourn her, including her estranged husband, Mike, and her boyfriend, Justin. She will always be in my heart and in my mind forever. Like, we're still married. It's terrible. And the pain and suffering Nicholas Holbert inflicted upon Kelly and her survivors made Marshburn want to do the same to him. You not only killed her, but you raped her. You're a sick and you need to be put away forever. I mean, that guy is the epitome of the devil to me. I, I literally, Nicholas Holbert and the devil are, are together in my head. But nobody was as furious as Kelly's older brother, Matt. All I could think about, honestly, was just, I'm gonna stab this guy. And some were worried that Matt just might do something just like that at Holbert's sentencing hearing. I had to say a few things, and then me and the judge, like, kind of locked eyes, and I think he realized I was, like, gonna freak out. <laughs> In fact, Matt became so enraged and vocal that a judge ordered him to be removed from the courtroom, where he admitted to local TV reporters. Honestly, what I thought would happen is I would just assault him, so it was a good thing that the judge kicked me out. Holbert tried to apologize to Kelly's family. You and your family probably didn't want to hear anything I had to say. And he was right. When he's trying to read his apology the whole time, all I'm thinking is just shut up. Mr. Holbert, could you look at me for a minute? And Kelly's mother, Jonna, demanded he listen to her instead. I don't understand. How? You could take a beautiful young girl for pretty much no reason and beat the life right out of her. Nicholas Holbert would be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. All thanks to David Marshburn, the dogged private detective who single-handedly brought him to justice and solved the Kelly Bordeaux mystery. Not even for his own personal gain, and that's the thing is, like, he's doing it for my family, and we don't even know. Yeah. So I'm like, it, he's yeah. doing this just because he wants to be able to make that difference. It's astronomical. It's, I mean, it's, it's more than my family can even show gratitude for. And the Fayetteville police admit they could have never closed the case without him. Are you glad Dave was so persistent? Oh, absolutely. Uh, he could do things that the police cannot do. Uh, I'm glad he was persistent because it brings closure to the Bordeaux family. Marshburn admits there were times he almost gave up. Every day I was exhausted having to go search for this girl. I was muddy, I was cut, I got sick. I was just fed up with it. I was tired of his games. But he says he felt morally bound to keep going for the sake of Kelly and her family. And Solid is donating his time, skill, and money to a worthy cause. Is this what your way of giving back? That's the only way I give back. That's the only way I feel like it gets back to God's children, people that need it. And the reward is seeing Nicholas Holbert behind bars. Kind of fits and um, you act like an animal, you get treated like one. He deserves it. At his sentencing, Holbert asked Kelly's family if one day they could find it in their hearts to forgive him. At this point, her brother and sister say they can't see that ever happening, and I certainly can't blame them. All right, now we want to hear from you. 
Could you ever forgive someone who did something horrible like this to one of your family members? Join the discussion on our Facebook page.